Hey y'all, what's up? <laughs> so, today is day eight post op. I'm gonna make this fast because my camera's on, battery is on one notch. The last time I talked to y'all, I was sitting in the same spot. It was yesterday though. And my dad was pulling up to come help me with Lourdes to get off the bus. So, today is day eight. I feel great. Um, I've, I've skipped a few days because I feel like it kind of was the same information. Like I was really struggling. Y'all look at my bun. Leaning. Leaning on the everlasting. <laughs> anyway, I skipped a few days because I felt like I was just kind of saying the same thing. You know, I'm, I'm sore. I'm tight. Uh, it's painful. Um, irritating. I was saying the same stuff. But today I feel pretty good. Yes, I still have some pain. Of course, I'm, it's to be expected. I have some pain in certain areas of my stomach, but I don't feel like real tight and bad. I had breakfast this morning. It did make me feel kind of tight. Remember I said I think some of the foods that I'm eating is doing that. Um, and I won't lie, I had pancakes and I wasn't eating pancakes before because I was trying to do like low carb or whatever. Um, and which I'm going to get back to that for sure. I'm going to get back to that for sure when I get the clearance to like work out and stuff. Um, anyway. So I had pancakes, a couple of sausages this morning. Then my husband made pilau, which if you know, you know. Um, if you don't know what pilau is, it's a Caribbean dish. It's like rice, chicken, lentils. Uh, he made that and it smells so good I had to taste it. So I had like a small bowl of pilau as well. I've had a lot of water this morning. That's it. Um, I did drive, which is crazy. Last night, when my husband got off at 11, I didn't want to send him an Uber and he not know who was coming because we hadn't discussed that. Uh, my oldest daughter is whatever um so i got up and drove it was all absolutely horrible once i got halfway there i said this was a mistake i should not have gotten this car because yesterday i was seven days post-stop i shouldn't have gotten this car and drove over here um by the time i got there i felt terrible um i drove with my seat reclined all the way back which is not safe because you can't really see for one and then number two um you you your defenses are kind of off because you're sore so you can't like quick turn this way quick turn that way like you normally would without surgery so i feel like my defenses was off so if somebody was i needed to like hurry up and get over and use my neck because you know that's the old school way yeah i know you got mirrors but still some of us are old school and we have to do that it, it's just don't feel right so i did that but then this morning i drove again which is crazy um i had ordered a juice cleanse from the juice bar and it needs to be picked up at eight again my oldest lord have mercy uh i told her that she i didn't see no movement from her i don't want my juice just sitting there all day long i paid all this money for it i'm like no i'm gonna go get it so hamlet rode with me to go get the juice then we went to the grocery store then we went to walmart but i stayed in the car for everything i did not get out um now we at home i'm sitting on the porch my dad's on his way again today my oldest is here however oh lord have mercy help it help it help it so um he's on his way now um it is pretty early still in regards to like him coming he's retired so he ain't got nothing to do it's 12 30 p.m um hamlet has to be at work at three and lord is get off the bus at 2 30 but my dad's on his way anyway just let him do let him do that's what we gonna do um i'm sitting on the porch now i'm gonna drink a little water i'm trying to give hamlet some quiet so he can take a nap before work because i know he's tired uh I started editing a video today, which is the video that's going to show how I spend my time 24 hours before having the surgery. I know it's kind of late, but then I'm like, better. It, it's really not late. These videos are always stand the test of time, so it really don't matter when I put it up. But I don't want it to be too far from when I had surgery that I forget stuff. So, yeah, my hand's getting lazy. Look, this is how it should be. <laughs> I should be like this. I need to put it up because I need exercise. I got on this cute two-piece set. Y'all, okay, y'all gonna see it on the other video. I'm not gonna show you right now. You gotta watch the other video to see this two-piece set that I got from Ross. It's a Calvin Klein pajama set, so I got that on. Uh, y'all hear, hear the sounds of summer? It's so beautiful. I just love it. Um, so I'm just gonna sit here and chill until my dad pulls up or until some bugs just, you know, uh, tell me the mood be get out the way because the bugs is out here. They out here. I love summer, but I hate bugs. So, just wanted to update y'all. Today's day eight. I feel great. I'm excited. Um, I'm on the I'm on the slope to like everything great. I still have mad bruising on my arms. I don't know if y'all can see them. They trying to heal, but I don't know. And then this one's still kind of small. I just discovered a huge bruise on my side. Like somebody was just punching me in my side. Boom, boom, 
boom, boom. That's what it looks like. Um, I imagine that's from them, like, putting the tool off in there um, with the robotic arms and doing their thing. Um, I'm still really bruised on the front. I'm not going to show y'all none of that. I'm still really swollen in the front. I have what they call a swelly belly. I didn't have a small belly anyway. I'm working on it. I'm working on my belly. Um, but my belly's mad swollen uh, beyond, like, what it usually is. And they say it can stay like that the full four to six weeks. And I believe that because I'm alternating heating pad and ice pack and it's going down but not down real fast so i think it's a process um i can imagine everything in there is just a little irritated and that's why it's still swollen so i just want to update y'all on that um I, I might give it a break for the next couple of days unless something like dramatically happens whether it's up or down uh this weekend is mother's day i'm excited i was planning on starting to drive saturday sunday anyway uh, we were going to nashville to a restaurant for brunch mother's day brunch so i knew i was going to be driving this weekend i had already prepared myself and i was like i'm just going to chill keep my body um you know just minimal activity so i'll be prepared for sunday but i've drove twice since surgery and the nurse told uh, my daughter that my oldest daughter that she'll be able to drive in a week and i was thinking no i'm not and then my daughter at the time was like no she's not but now i am so it's crazy good morning everybody <laughs> just waiting for my camera to show up whenever it's ready to come to the party this is blurry are you coming anyways y'all today is day nine post-op i'm on my way to the nail shop yes i'm in the car that's we started up our old car this this thing still ain't showed up okay here we go we started up our old car the Cadillac, we haven't been in it in a while. We finally got it started. I don't know if I told y'all that. It had went dead on us and we thought it just went on to heaven, y'all. It didn't, though. It's still alive. So I started up. We went to a breakfast at our neighborhood Waffle House this morning. Because it's literally a street over, so it wasn't far to drive. Yes, I'm driving. Y'all probably like, what the... F yes, I'm driving. So we're headed to the um, nail shop. It's in the neighborhood, too. It's not far gonna go get my finally get my nails done y'all remember the vlog that should be out by the time you're watching this the prep the surgery prep vlog um you know remember i went to get my nails done and the um they took forever on my pedicure so i couldn't get my nails done well i'm just gonna get my nails done 10 days later it's mother's day this weekend so i want my nails done really and then um I might ask them to paint my toes again. I'm not getting a pedicure though, because I just got a pedicure. So I might ask them that. That's why I'm headed and I'm coming back home. It's 10 o'clock. I thought I would give my husband an opportunity to have some peaceful sleep or whatever. Oh yeah, the main thing, how I'm feeling. I feel pretty freaking good. Now, this morning, my stomach was hurting so bad, but it wasn't the surgery. It was a bowel movement. So, I have been having bowel movements every day since I had this surgery, which is crazy. Because before, y'all remember on the other video, when I was talking about the Docolax and the stool softener, I was saying I might need it because I'm not regular and I can't be pushing anything out. Not only am I having bowel movements every day and sometimes multiple times per day, I'm not having a push hard. But this morning, my stomach was hurting so bad every time i try to take a step it would like pain would intensify i'm like what is that and then it kind of felt like gas and it felt like a bowel movement so i had one tmi it was huge i'm like what in the world and i'm not even i'm not even eating a whole whole lot of food um i'm eating my fair share like we went to breakfast at waffle house this morning that's probably the worst thing i've had so far I've been eating at home. And then I had hibachi one day. I did eat hibachi out. Oh, yeah, my first week, we ate out a lot. We ate out a lot. But I still would, like, be mindful of what I was putting in my body. I'm not doing a lot of snacking. So, that's good. I'm hoping that I can fall right back into my keto and my workout pretty good. Um, I should be doing keto now, but I won't lie. Every now and then I have a slip up, like, oh, I need a piece of chocolate or something. I'm not going to beat myself up about it, though. I'm not. Um... So yeah, I was hurting because of that. My incisions do not hurt as bad, but I still am alternating heat and cold comp compresses because my stomach is pretty much still quite swollen. 
swollen beyond its normal size. Um, and also, if I try to sleep on my left or right side, I can really feel my the pressure on my incision. So I still can't. I have to sleep on my back still. It's still pretty, pretty tender. But I mean, y'all, I'm just nine days out. So what do I expect? Um, but I feel pretty great. I felt great yesterday. I feel great today. Me and my husband also went to Walmart because it's in the neighborhood. <laughs> we, we live close to a lot of stuff. Um, we went to Walmart to pick up some, you know, household stuff. I wasn't going to go in, but I decided to go in with him because sometimes he'll go in and like call me as soon as he gets in the store after I just gave him the list. So I'm like, I'm going to just go in and walk. The walk kind of made me start cramping in my va vaginal area. So I have a little cramping going on there. My daughter was like, sit down. I was like, I will in the car and at the nail shop. So, I'm headed to the nail shop now. And then I'm coming straight home. I'm not going anywhere else. I, I, um, TJ Maxx is calling my name. I want to go there so bad. But I'm not going to go to TJ Maxx. Um, because I wanted to give my mom a gift for Mother's Day. And I knew I know what she wants. Um, it's something that I have and I know they have it. Um, but also I have a reservation for a fine dinner on Sunday for four because I thought my oldest daughter would be able to go but she can't go so I may just uh, take my mom in her place and uh, buy her dinner so yeah I don't know but I'm gonna go ahead and take off get to the nail shop just wanted to let y'all know it's day nine I'm feeling fine I feel okay um I feel like if I keep taking it easy and accepting the help in regards to like not lifting and stuff like that then my recovery should be good. Um, continue to be good. I think the Opti Recovery, the vitamins I told y'all I would get back to y'all on, I think they really are making a difference. I think the vitamins as a whole, because I've gotten back to taking my vitamins, and I think they're helping things heal up internally nicely, um, which is good. But we'll keep watching that. And so I'll talk to y'all later. I was just want to give you an update, day nine. I may give it a couple of days and then come back on day 11. I'm not going to come back on every day, but I'll remember what happened on the days in between, okay? See y'all later. Okay, what's up y'all, I'm back. Uh-oh, my camera, stupid. I'm oily cause, I'm rich oily, but anyway. I just left the nail shop. Camera, let's get it together, I'm right here. Just left the nail shop, got my nails done, they look good. My camera can't focus on them. Y'all can see how psycho I am. Freaking psycho. So, Excuse me. Y'all remember on the other vlog where I did the like prepare for surgery vlog or whatever. Um, and I said, I talked about the Asians. I'm at the same Milano nail shop. I talked about the Asians in there uh, not understanding what I want, being mad at them because my polish looked so ripply. And because I got polish, I didn't get gel because my toenails were so freaking sensitive. And I did not want them to be drilling on them again. So let me get up closer because the lighting is bad when I'm back. My both of my cars are so dark on the inside. Anyway, so my tail my toes were both ripply. My nails are ombre pink and white. So I kind of wanted something to match my nails, which my toes already did, but they were bumpy. So I was telling the guy that did my nails, which he did my, he put this set on for me. He does such a great job. I don't even know his name, but I'm glad that I ended up with him again today. Anyway, yeah, I'm going all over the place. I was like, yeah, I don't need a pedicure because I just got one last week. I was like, but my toenails are like ripply and bumpy because I got polish and the polish must need to be changed or something because it just didn't lay right it don't lay like gel so he like you want a polish change i said yeah so then he was like you uh i said well i i don't know what color though he was like you want gel i was like trying to explain to him all over again okay gel made my toenail sensitive that's why i got the polish so i don't know if i need gel yet i think i need to give him a break or whatever so he like okay gel i'm telling y'all they need to really work on their like comprehension and understanding of english language because i'm like oh god so i'm like well take the polish off first and let me see how they feel and then I'll let you know if I want to get gel or if I want you to put on a different color of a a different pink of polish so he was taking it off or whatever with the remover I could already feel the sensitivity um, some toes are sensitive, more sensitive to sensitive than others so he got like down to like not my baby toe but the toe before my baby toe and girl I almost jumped out of that seat no I don't need to jump out of no seats because I had this surgery and uh no so I'm like okay it's sensitive but then he was like so you getting jail I'm like oh my god 
<laughs> oh my god so he's still like pro jail so i'm like yeah just go ahead and slap the jail on there so i thought about it i'm like well shit i could wear jail for like a month or two like literally because it lasts that long and then they're not gonna do no drilling today so this jail gonna be on here for a long time they just strictly polish change so life hack that's a life hack go get a polish change they will not do all their drilling and shit they'll just polish them for you they might file them a little bit or whatever they'll clean them up just a little bit and then polish change so anyways he did that he buffed them a little bit they were still sensitive he painted them this is the crazy part i ended up with the same damn color because i couldn't think of nothing i said just give me 270 again because it's so pretty so long story short i got 270 gel polish change on my toenails yes i paid for it it was 25 dollars to do that but whatever he he put in work to do it and other clients was waiting on him so i'm like you know what i don't mind paying him he did such a great job on my nails so yeah so i'm just saying i'm a psycho because i could have got this shit done from the beginning and not even did all that arguing yeah so y'all it is saturday may 13th i am 11 days post-op so let's talk about it um i feel pretty great today however i'm realizing that i'm still trying to do too much it is so hard to be like on chill mode and not doing anything like sitting down not doing nothing so uh, I'm still on break. I have on my t-shirt that I created that says monthly subscription canceled. I'm going to link my little, oh yeah, my belly is still very much swollen. Like it's, it's definitely carrying something. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to link um, my bonfire store in this video. So if you're interested in this t-shirt, I have a lot of t-shirts on there for different things. So they're positivities, like positive messaging or some of them are funny and they were all created with something in mind. So yeah, check out my store if you want to get you one of these. And the back actually says something. I wonder if y'all can see it in the mirror right here. You can't, but it says that bitch was cramping my style, period, in red. So um, it's cute. I created it. But there's other women that have created monthly subscription cancel. I just put what I wanted to put on the back. So that's what makes mine a little bit different. Uh, but we want, we're going to buy them from me. We're going to buy them from me, not them, okay? So let's make that clear. If you want to support, please buy them from me. Uh, I have elected to donate some of the proceeds to um, women's health related issue organizations. So yeah, if you buy one, then Bonfire uh, gives me the option to do that. And so yeah, because this right here ain't no joke. So anyway, back to my journey and how I'm feeling. I feel pretty good today. Um, I'm still experiencing that tightness that I've been feeling and I realized that I think the more sodium or salty related foods I take in, the worse it is. Yesterday my husband and I went to Slim Chickens, that's where he wanted to go. I tried to eat, I got like a three piece chicken tender combo. Um, I ate two and a half or maybe not even that much of the third chicken tender, maybe two chicken tenders tops. A few fries and my stomach was mad tight and I was mad uncomfortable. Then later on that night we decided to take Lourdes to her game my oldest Khaleesi and I we took her to her game I was sitting on those hard bleachers I know y'all I'm doing too much uh, being yesterday was 11 days uh, post no 10 days post stop I'm doing way too much I already know I went to the game and sitting on those hard seats like the bleachers wore me out it made me so tight again and then so then I decided okay I'll stand up well I, the tightness was too far gone so then Standing up also was hard. So I was just ready to come home. I came home, got on my heating pad, and that helped a little bit. And then I took some Tylenol, extra strain Tylenol, because I hadn't been on pain medicine, nothing, y'all, nothing, for two days. Uh, Thursday, no, Wednesday, Thursday, I didn't take anything. Last night was Friday, so I took some extra strain Tylenol. It made me feel a little bit better. I got in bed, got some rest, woke up feeling pretty good. My incisions are not as, they don't hurt as bad. I did not eat any breakfast because I thought if we go to lunch or something today, I don't want to already be tight. So I got, um, I had went to get some green juices. I didn't vlog that, but I had ordered some green juices from this place called the Juice Bar. Oh, this is a place, Juice Bar. I think they're in different cities. It's a franchise, I think. Um, and they make you these green juices. I mean, they settle. But for example, I think this one is, it's either sweet, I don't know what it is, y'all. This one's ginger greens. This one is sweet greens. This one, 
I don't know. It may be just um, celery juice. I think that's what this is. Celery juice. Lord have mercy. And then this is sweet beet juice, which will taste just like dirt. I've already had two of them, as you can see. This morning I had the early riser, which was like a carrot, apple, ginger juice. And then the other day I had, uh, yeah, see, they say it up here. Sunny G is what I had this morning. Carrot, apple, pineapple, mint, ginger, lemon. That was this morning. And then the other day I had leafy produce, which was kale, celery, spinach, lemon, cucumber, and parsley. It tasted just like fresh cut grass. So I'm not going to even lie. So yeah, these are in here. I drunk one of those this morning because I was like, hmm. I ain't trying to tighten myself up like I was yesterday with that all that, you know, like sometimes breakfast food and meats, which I probably should just eat vet, uh, fruits or veg vegetables, but I, I don't have any on hand. All I have is banana and I'm not a big banana person, but um, yeah, breakfast meats and carbs and stuff, that stuff will just make me mad tight. We ordered Lord, it's a ramp, but it's too small because so we're going to try to use it to like let her ramp in on her wheelchair. So we got to take that ramp back. And then maybe order a different one. Uh, I finally got my video uploaded. It took literally two days. My laptop is so old. I got two laptops going, one right here. My daughter's MacBook, um, she's not using it, so I'm going to use it. That's my HP that I was using to upload. The video that's going up today, finally. Yeah, I'm just now putting up that video. Let me show y'all. I am just now putting up this video. And yes, I know this has a downloading sign on my eye. I thought that was funny. Oh, right there. <laughs> Y'all can't even see it. I know that it has it on my eye. It's funny to me because I literally feel like that's what I was doing all day, downloading. This laptop is so old. Um, I, I had this laptop when we first started YouTube in 2017. I've gotten it repaired twice because I love it so much. I, this is why I love it because, see, it's touch screen. I love this laptop. I just need to buy another one. It had one terabyte of memory, which is a lot. And that is why I liked it. But um, I've had the hard drive replaced and I've had some other stuff done to it twice. And it's like, the laptop's like, just let me die already. So, <laughs> and then it's got 10 key. I like that. So yeah, it's a really good laptop. It's just old. And so it's just me trying to hold on to it and, and it can't be held on to anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna move over to the MacBook that's over here. And I've been setting that up. Uh, and I'll probably switch editors. On my HP, I use Wondershare. On this MacBook, I will be using uh, Final Cut Pro. Well, I'm going to subscribe to a, okay. I'm gonna subscribe to a 90 day uh, free trial to see if I like Final Cut Pro, because Final Cut Pro is expensive. I wanna see that I can um, actually stick to this vlogging thing that is worth me buying. I don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars and then I don't use it. That just don't make no sense. So, I'm going to try it for 90 days and see how I like it. So, that's why I need you guys to watch these videos. We'll probably go out here in a little while. I think we're going to go look at some houses today. Return that ramp to Target because I actually ordered it from Target. And I can drop it off in the store. And I got a few more errands to run. And we might go have some lunch or something. Then we come back home because, like I said, yesterday I got wore out and I felt terrible. And I do not want to feel like that today. And then tomorrow we're going to uh, downtown Nashville to... Um, this restaurant called Eddie V's and so I don't want to um, be tight when we go out for my Mother's Day outing. What up Ned family? So I'm out here today 11 day no 13 days why well, I can't never get the number right 13 days post-op tomorrow Tuesday will be two weeks post-op so today I went to the grocery store by myself and whew, I decided to bring the groceries in the house bad idea bad idea so I've been cramping pr uh, pretty much ever since in my lower abdomen um I just took a nap because y'all not gonna believe this I had the house for my for myself I had the house to myself for about three hours I never listen 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 I never have the house to myself so I took a nap and I never take naps so that was great um it's a little after two o'clock Lolo on the bus should be here Y'all know that I've been having people come by to help me get her off the bus because I can't lift her. So what I've done is, because I did not set nothing up today, I was too busy, too busy having weekend time because I hadn't been out anywhere and we were out this weekend. Uh, I was having so much fun this weekend that um, I didn't set up any kind of help. And I was supposed to interview 
one lady, she ended up telling me at the last minute that <clears throat> she took another job. Oh shit, it's about to rain. That she took another job. And then another lady told me that she contacted me on Saturday saying that she wanted to interview for the position. I gave her my phone number to call me at five o'clock yesterday. She did not call. So needless to say, care.com, I've had six applicants, no real shot at nobody getting hired. It's kind of pissed me off. I'm in the process now of escalating my issues so that I can try to get my money back because they claim under no circumstances can they get your money back. And I said, and I understand your policy, but this is my policy. I don't pay for nothing without no service being rendered. So now we both got a policy. What's up? Escalate it. Do what you got to do. So anyways, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to get Lourdes off the bus myself. Um, I will push her wheelchair up the driveway. I have, my sister gave her this cute, look at that bug. Look at that bug. How you just going to come over here? Yeah, I'm talking to you. You. Get off the mat. Anyway. My sister gave Lourdes this yoga mat for Christmas that says her name. So I rolled out the red carpet for her. What I'm going to do, I'm going to roll her wheelchair right up here to the edge. And I'm going to have her crawl up the mat uh, to the house. That's the best thing I know to do. Me and her daddy know that she'll be successful doing that. So let me just get my little home sign, this little bitty sign that usually goes on my door. Fling this bug somewhere on its way. Bugs get on my nerves, I swear to God. And then once we go in, I will have her walker right here so that she can get on her walker she can get on her walker and walk to the back so let me close the door yeah there's her walker as soon as she crawls in it'll be right there that's my alarm going off telling me get your ass up but my internal clock got me up so yeah i have that right there and then i will wheel the wheelchair into our garage and then her dad can access it tomorrow for when she goes to school so that's what I'm gonna do. I, I don't have no other option. Again, I didn't set up help today. I'm proud of myself. I have uploaded the surgery day vlog and the post op days one through seven. It's not a long video. It's pretty short, which is good. We'll have to keep y'all on here a long time because a lot of the stuff I'm saying is pretty repetitive. I haven't had nothing extreme happen, thank God. I don't want anything extreme to happen to me, but I uploaded my first reel yesterday. It was really cute. It was funny. It got a few views, not a lot, but that's okay. Uh, I'm on my way or whatever. What I want to know is United States um, Border and Customs con Patrol. I was going to say control. Well, y'all probably need to get some control. Where's my passport? Where's me a Lolo passport at? I want to know where our passports are. We apply for passports back in March. Here it is, getting up on mid-May. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Well, that's what I want to know. You know, my uh, recovery um, has been mm -hmm. in regards to the outside people. I said that in the end of my last vlog. It is 2.19. Uh, we got about 15 minutes before the little young scholar gets home so i am going to make sure i have everything ready for her um her snack and everything because like i said it's just me and her and i'm having to really take it easy so i just want to make sure she has everything so that when she gets here i don't have to do too much before class because i have class tonight at six and that's pretty much it y'all that's all we got going on um, tomorrow I go to the doctor for my actual two-week post-op follow-up appointment at 10 15 uh, y'all remember the last time I tried to film my doctor talking to me it was a mm-mm so I might try again um so you can hear what he's saying about like the surgery and like how I'm healing or whatever I might try again um but with my phone and with my phone already recording before he walk in and with my phone like in my pocket or something I don't know so we'll see and then if not i'll try my best to give y'all the update based on what he said um at the appointment so that's what i'm doing tomorrow i'm going to the doctor then and that's everything for now i will talk to you guys uh probably tomorrow i'm not going to come back on here today since these are basically you know um vlogs about surgery and my post-op experience um if i do some kind of alternate vlog that will be you know on a whole different whole different video, whole different recording. So just wanted to update you. I hope you guys had a happy Monday. Um, I hope that the weather's beautiful wherever you are. I hope the sun is shining, you're getting your vitamin D. Um, <clears throat> and that, um, yeah, you just have peace around you and, and maintain it and protect it because people out here are trying to take it. All right, see you guys 
soon. Hey y'all, welcome back. So I'm in the car, it is May 16th. I'm headed to my two week post-op surgery appointment. As you guys may or may not know, two weeks ago I had a laparoscopic hysterectomy. Um, and I'm headed to see my doctor now who performed the surgery for a two week appointment. Girl, I'm bumping my music loud like YouTube won't put a stop to this before it starts. So anyway, uh, I'm excited. I feel pretty good. I am cramping still. Y'all, I, I do a gangster lean when I drive. I don't never sit up like this. I'm always like, <laughs> let me try to straighten up. That's probably one reason why I'm cramping because my posture is terrible. So, I do have a little light cramping going on. Uh, and I, again, it's just because of me. I've been doing way, way too much. I uh, got up this morning, helps Lourdes get ready for school, kind of. I just did, you know, her hair and stuff. I didn't dress her, I didn't bathe her or anything. Her dad did that. But I just laid her edges. <laughs> that was it. She still had an updo from yesterday, which was great. And then I watched a little bit of TV. I'm watching this show on Netflix. No, Netflix is wrong. It's on MGM, but I'm accessing it through Prime Video called From. It's with the guy that played in the Best Man Holiday Meet. Is his name Meech? What was his name on that merch? Merch. I called him Meech. I'm thinking of BMF. Anyway, it's merch. And then he also played on Claws. He was the autistic brother of Niecy Nash's character. He is such a, a wide ranged actor. I cannot think of his name for anything. But if I if I think about it, I'll put it below. The name of the show is From, but he plays on the show. And it's uh, he plays a sheriff on the show, but he's not, didn't want to be a sheriff. It's just really interesting. The show is about this town that you kind of get like stuck in, like you ride through the town and they trap you. So then you're like forever going in this circle trying to get out and you end up trapped by these creatures that hunt people at night and they disguise themselves as, as people that you might know. So, um, it's really an interesting show. It's, it's sounds, sounds kind of like supernaturalish, but it's good. So I was watching that this morning and then I had a certain urge for breakfast. I was like, oh, I really want something good to eat. What is this BMW doing? Can you drive? So anyway, I made myself breakfast. I probably shouldn't have done that. Folded some clothes, probably shouldn't have done that either. When they tell you with this surgery to take it easy and don't do certain things, like you really have to take heed to that advice. Like, do not do anything if you don't, if you can help it. But I'm a person that a lot weighs heavy on me as the mom and the wife, so it's hard for me not to do anything. So I think, long story short, you know my story is always long as hell. Long story short, I think that's why I'm cramping. And while I'm saying that, the parking lot is packed and I'm going to have to do some major walking. Which I really don't need either. I don't need to do a lot of walking right now. I just left Walmart. I was picking up my mom a Mother's Day gift two days later. Uh, <laughs> better late than never. Well, I thought she was going to go out to eat with us Sunday to Eddie V's, but she didn't. So, And I didn't have anything for her, but I was just going to pay for her dinner on Sunday. But she didn't go with us, so whatever so I just left from Walmart um, now I'm at the doctor's office I just pulled up it is so packed here I don't know why it's so packed here well people have appointments obviously but it seems like it's more packed than normal um, I know a few weeks ago they had like some kind of data breach or something and they were trying to a girl I don't know they were trying to contain everything and they closed the whole clinic for like two days and so, I don't know if we're, oh honey, you doing all wrong, baby. You doing, you gotta get on the roundabout. You gotta get on the roundabout. You trying to get on it the wrong way. You gotta get on the roundabout. You gotta flow with people. Your blinker saying you going left. You supposed to flow right. So yeah, I'm here. Um, I wanna record my doctor talking about me and my progress, but the last time I tried to record, which I never did upload this, well, he made me delete that footage, but I never did upload those videos. But yeah, y'all, he made me delete the footage. She was like, are you recording me? Because he's gay. So that was his voice. 
And I was like, yeah, but I'm not recording you. I'm just recording what you're saying. So, you know, I have it for, you know, my documentation purposes. And he was just like, you're going to have to, you're going to have to delete that. We cannot have you recording videos. I know I got dark right there. It's the parking. So I'm going to try to record him on my phone. But I'm about to go inside. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. I'm going to show y'all something real quick that I picked up Lolo at Walmart. It's so cute. Look at it, y'all. It's a windbreaker set. So it's like a little top and then it has shorts. I think this will be so good for like a plane ride. Cause you know, sometimes it's kind of cold on the plane. And, um, you know, and then when you get to the place, it's all nice. So, yeah. That's what I got for her. I'm just going to do a quick Walmart haul since we heal. Let me scooch y'all this way because the lighting is bad. I got her some little bras because, you know, she's budding. So, these two little bras was $6 and something. 98 cents. You know, Walmart is good for 98 cents on some stuff. Then I got her another set. This is Anita Baker. Y'all love Anita Baker. It's my girl. This is a black and white set. Same price. And then we got her a new iPad and it's not charging good. So, I got her the actual charger to see if this will help with her new iPad. My mom's cute little gift card. It's on a it looks like a nice summer day on there. It's so cute. Like y'all care about that. And then of course I miss cards. So I couldn't get her a Mother's Day card. I ended up getting her this card that says Thank you for having such a giving spirit. You are truly a blessing. And then I'll just say happy Mother's Day. It was 98 cents. It's a nice car. It fit it fits as good as it's gonna fit. So yeah. So I got all that stuff at Walmart just before my doctor's appointment. Now I'm about to go inside and see my doctor. I'm gonna put on some shades because when I was walking to Walmart, I was like, oh, I need something. And it was sunglasses. I needed some sunglasses. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I get done. And maybe we'll find a few other things to get into. Nurse practitioners, okay. sorry for the wait. Okay. Um, so two weeks since you were me, right? Mm -hmm. Um, how's your pain? Um, I, it's good. Like, I haven't been on any pain medicine since, mm, probably the Friday or Saturday after the surgery. Perfect. And so, if, and then if I do, like, I just take extra strength Tylenol. Like, I haven't been taking, like, the stuff that was prescribed. Yeah. So, it's been okay. I think yesterday I may have did a little too much with, um, I brought like some small, a small thing of groceries in the house. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like a little crampy right here, mm -hmm. but it's, I mean, it's not nothing terrible. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, sometimes we'll, you'll notice that, that if you do a little bit more activity than mm -hmm. you have been doing the next day, you're a little more sore. Yeah. Um, any bleeding or anything I haven't like bled once yet, Perfect. which is interesting. Yeah. I, I was expecting to bleed. No. I guess some people, or just some, do some people, people do. Okay. Some that are a little more active have a little bit more bleeding. Mm -hmm. Some people don't have any. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you don't have to wear the compression socks anymore. Okay. Um, you don't have to wear the binder anymore if they gave you one of those. I didn't have a binder, so. Perfect. Yeah. You can drive as long as you're not taking narcotics. Um, what was your return to work plan if you work? I don't work, so okay. yeah, I'm okay. fine with that. So light housework, um, still not heavy exercise, still no intercourse. Okay. Um, and then you'll be released for that when you come back for your eight weeks. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Um, we just have to look at your little incisions, and okay. then if you have any questions, we'll answer that. Okay. They are. I, they still have like whatever he put the on the glue. Yeah, because I'm like I'm scared to like yeah. I'll kind of pat them to, when mm -hmm. I'm taking a shower, but I don't. Um, I have everything on my underwear and everything, so yeah. they won't be irritated. That's okay. I'm gonna take the glue off. Okay. Yeah, I'm like I don't know if I should pull that off or or what. Sorry, I got that on there. It's okay. It's perfectly fine to come off. Okay. There's a suture underneath that layer. Gotcha. And so now it's perfectly fine to wash, lotion, okay. do all that. Okay. These look perfect. Yeah, I'm sorry I came in with it on. I was just like, I'm, no, no, no. I'm gonna most, leave it. Most people do come in with it on. Yeah. And I take it off. Okay. Because <laughs> you know it's like it's like a surgical dressing. Yeah. You know? Some people's doesn't peel up at all, and I have to come in here and like mm -hmm. scrub it off. They yeah. look great. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's my job. This is like my <laughs> it's my weird I don't know thing yeah. that I get to do. <laughs> 
I know. I saw like a little piece. I did. It's a little piece hanging this morning. I pulled it and I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave the rest yeah. of it alone because it is kind of satisfying to take it off. Yeah. But you know, I was like, I'll just yeah. leave it and let yeah. them look at it. Like when people come in and they've already taken it off, I'm just a little bit disappointed. Are you? I didn't get to peel it off. Yeah, because it's like, like I said, it's kind of satisfying yeah. to peel it off. So yeah. I'm just like, eh, yeah. I do it on like it. C sections. We'll have it all the way across. Oh yeah. And I, my goal is to get it all off in one one pull. pull. Yeah. yeah. And if I can, I go yeah. Yeah. And the woman looks at me like I'm weird. I'm like, I'm sorry, I should have cut that inside. No, no, <laughs> I, I get it. And it's funny because my little girl, every time she's around and I'm like putting on something else, she's like looking at I'm like, and I'm like, that's when I had surgery. And she's just kind of like, I want to touch it so bad. Yeah. And it's like, it's weird because it's like purple in color too. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's I think that's why she's really looking at it. And then she saw I had a bruise. And I was like, well, that was just part of me having surgery. And she was just looking like, that's crazy. Yeah. But she's little, so she's trying mm -hmm. to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Just those little poke holes mm -hmm. took care of all of it. Yeah. That's now, you crazy. do have that incision in your vagina. Okay. Um, from where your cervix was. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's really why you have all those lifting restrictions gotcha. and all that stuff. Because if, if it had just been a laparoscopic surgery, mm -hmm. you know, you'd be free. Yeah. But it's that incision right there, um, basically where your core is. I okay. mean, if you think about that's kind of holding everything in. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we're letting heal now. So during this surgery, my cervix was removed too. Mm -hmm. I was wondering that. Yeah. Okay. So you took uterine, uterine cervix, fallopian tubes. Gotcha. And they usually leave your ovary so you don't go into menopause. Right. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering about the cervix. I knew the other parts because my oldest daughter was with me during surgery and he called her and you know, Dr. Taylor can talk really fast. Yeah. So he was telling her stuff, telling her stuff. And then when she related to me, I was like, girl, did you miss something? Cause yeah. I think you may have missed something. She didn't mention anything about the cervix. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So all you have left is your ovaries. Gotcha. Okay. okay. All right. So that is considered a complete um, hysterectomy. Okay. It. Okay. Well, I mean, if I was missing it, I mean, it's gone now. There's nothing yeah. I, I can't ask for it back. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't want to get them do nothing. They don't do except nothing. Except for add a little weight to that wall back there to yeah. let it drop down yeah. and get in the way. Don't we don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, but yeah. I feel pretty good. I really good. do. Yeah. All right. Well, then you should already have your eight week appointment in six weeks, and mm -hmm. that's when we'll see you. All right. Okay. Thank you. Go enjoy your day. I will. Thank you. Nice, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> you too. Take care.